So, hello guys, welcome back to SRL. Today, we are at Australia for round 6, I believe, or 5, or probably 6. So, we're starting our lap on the soft compound tyre. We're currently in P4, so we've had a pretty decent banker lap on the soft tyre. Uh, so, yeah, let's hope we can still improve on this lap, which we will, hopefully, uh, if I can keep it together currently got quite a big delta to our previous time because I was every lap I was doing around Australia I was finding some time in the dry uh, I didn't really do any practice laps for the wet but uh, that was okay well I thought it was before coming into races you see our teammate is on pole so he has got some he's got some pace around this track obviously if you've been watching the previous races you know me and Sartre uh, our teammates and we are pretty closely matched uh, at, pretty, at most circuits actually which is a really fun inter-team battle as well if you're wondering why there was no uh, what race was it I actually can't remember but we were doing a race and uh, yeah we lagged out that's why there was no round before this because me and Sartre we both lagged out at the same time and we couldn't get back in so that's why so we are about to complete a lap around Australia and we've done it that has been my lap around Australia so we have three four five red lights and away we go for the Australian Grand Prix we have had a pretty awful start so are we going to be able to go down actually no that's a pretty decent start it looks like we've got off to the back of PPR or Peps there we're going to take, take it quite cautiously but we've been hit by I don't know who that was in the uh, house I don't know it might have been VJ actually yeah we got sort of hit off by him now we've got Shadow Racer behind us in the Red Bull and it's virtual safety car and PPR or Pepsi broke then and uh we, <laughs> we nearly had a massive pile up but uh, yeah I don't understand what was happening here so I was trying to let people out pets past and then I'm pretty sure okay yeah and then he slowed down for some reason and then everyone else overtook him and it, it was like yeah what's going on so this is like a pretty standard uh, standard league race that includes the virtual safety car safety car is not that bad but well, it sort of still is. It's still a bit glitchy, but never mind. These things happen. So we're currently in P6. So we have actually lost some positions. Uh, obviously, Morgs as well. So good shout out to Morgs who started down in P8 or 9. He jumped up to P4. That was a brilliant start from him. He's obviously uh, avoided the first corner carnage. So uh, yeah, safe car. Virtual safety car is ending now, so we're going to go back to racing speed any minute now. So here we go, back racing. We've got Shadow Racer all over the back of us. I can clearly see what he's going to try and do. He's going to try and dive bomb. I just know it. There you go. Look, look, look. Oh, he's crashed into the back of people. Oh, Pepsi, what a noob. Morgs has made a mistake as well. I don't know if that was because of Shadow Racer as well, but that was pretty ridiculous dive bomb actually from there so that maybe that should go see the stewards we've got VJ in front of us again in the house and uh, we're up to P4 obviously from that contact so this is going to be the end of lap 1 just trying to uh, get the stuff down traction down teammate still leading so good for him let's try and maybe try and help him out during the race if I can uh, have a decent race uh, so yeah let's move on to another lap so here we go lap four caught onto the back of vj and he's gone a bit deep he looks like we've made a mistake so we are going to uh capitalize on the traction obviously we've got so much more speed coming out the corner so we have gone past him there now i've got a teammate in second so i don't know who's in front of him but let's hope he can get back in front and we can try and help him I'm pretty sure it's emerald actually so we've got craig center behind us here so we are going to try and defend like hell, just so to give our teammate a bit more of a, uh, bit more of a chance and a gap to fight the car in front. So 
So we are going to basically park on every apex, so you just can't get past. Because uh, I was trying to help out my teammate because I knew he had faster pace than me at this track. So I just thought, if he can try and get the win, I'm just going to help him any way I can. So yeah, Craig Center is behind us. Just trying to make it to every apex and try and force him at least around the outside, where there's obviously less grip and there's more chance of going off. So yeah. Try and make it to every apex. Don't really matter how fast or slow you're going. As you can see, he's going to go around the outside. This is what I was speaking. And look, I've just forced him to basically stop on the track because I'm trying to make him go around my outside instead of uh, doing stupid moves. But unfortunately, that time we did not make the apex. We went deep, and he did actually get past us. So uh, that was a good move by Craig there. But we did actually let our teammate have a bit of a gap. So, looks like everything should be okay there. But we're not actually uh, falling off the back of Craig, which I'm quite surprised about. So, we're going to try and uh, pro possibly make a move if things are okay. As you see, look, he's struggling through that section there. So, there you go. Look, he's wobbling everywhere. So, we're going to look down and no, we're not. We're going to back out of that move. And, yeah, he's got away. We had such an awful corner then. Uh, but we're actually up on our time, so uh, that's pretty different. Coming on to lap 13 now. We've gone deep, so this pretty much means uh, people are Pepsi. He's going to get past us. He was probably going to get past us anyway, so I wasn't too surprised or too down about going off the track because he did have quite a lot of pace. And as you can see, cars are actually in the pits, so they're coming in for brand new wet tyres. My tyres were basically fine. Uh, obviously apart from parking it on the apexes and stuff like that and going off the track a little bit there was somewhere but I reckon I could have got to the end on these tyres so we are currently in first and look who it is so they've obviously come out in pit order so my teammates still behind Emerald so we might do a bit of uh, team tactics here and uh, me slow right down to let Sarcho close up to the back of Emerald and uh, possibly there you go look he's looking around my outside this is exactly what we wanted to do, him to battle me. So I'm just going to take this corner normally. And what's he done? Oh, he took us out! What a... Oh, God. Okay, but anyway, is our teammate. Teammate's going to get him. And he's made a pass for the lead to Emerald. Uh, maybe he's got some front wing damage, but I don't know. So we're going to carry on down the straight. But let's look at a replay quickly. So as you can see, he's coming from quite a long way back. Obviously, as you can see, we're on the racing line. I did turn away then because I did realise he wasn't going to do the dive bomb. But if you can look where his wheels are, they're actually all the way over the corner. Look, they're not even on the racing track. And he just comes and cuts across the straight in front of us. So I'm not going to lie, that was a pretty desperate move by Emerald there. So, uh, and obviously he took us both off. So I'm just going to let Craig through because I'm not actually battling him at this point. But I was going to come in for some tyres because obviously going across the grass, the gravel, it completely messed up my tyres. So we are going to come in for our pit stop. I think it's two laps or three laps or four laps behind these guys. Because uh, Jeff was telling me ages ago to come in. And I was just like, no. I want to try and help my teammate win this race. So we're coming in. Obviously, just a normal pit stop. In the rain. The gap to the car behind us was huge. So I wasn't worried about him overtaking us. I'm pretty sure it was like 40 seconds or something like that. Yeah, if you look at the gap there, four seconds, and the gap in front of us was quite big as well, so there wasn't really much to worry about. So come out P5, going to be a good result for us after the last round lagging out. I can't remember what track it was actually, might have been Austria, but okay, coming on to our last lap now, probably going to cut to the end because absolutely nothing happened apart from a... Uh, the car behind closed in as massively. That's good as a drive-through penalty because there was a virtual safety car, and even though I was doing under my delta, so I had it was green, it gave me a drive-through penalty, which I thought was a bit mad and a bit stupid. But never mind. So we are going to finish this lap. As you can see, I was just trying to get a bit consistent, just like I was trying to do with Craig. Even though there wasn't some battle in any car, just making sure the car actually got to the apexes. Just so I had sort of a decent uh, run coming out the corner. So, GG Sarcho, well done teammate. That's your first ever league race win. 
I'm still hunting for mine. Unless you can count the Noob Journeys League. Which I'm going to count Noob Journeys League because I've, that means I've got four wins, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, one in Monaco, one in Silverstone Season 1, one in. Where else? I don't know about. Oh, Austria and the track before. I can't remember where that was. I don't know. Germany, there you go. So, there you go. They're my league racing wins. All in the new journey because it is so much fun. But SRL is fun as well. Especially in GP3 with that battle. I would have preferred it to be in the dry just so I could have sort of shown my bit more pace. But I'm happy it was in the wet and I'm very happy for my teammate to get his first win and also help towards the constructors for Mercedes. So, what I'm going to show you now after we've celebrated going across the line, make sure we don't bin it at the last minute. What I'm going to show you now is the results. So, I will see you guys next time. If you want to see more SRL or Noob Journey or any other videos, just hit that like button. So, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.